How's it going guys? Welcome back to another Anthem video and today we're going to be going through the regulator store. So if you do find this useful, do all the good stuff, drop a like, hit that subscribe button. I'm almost at 10,000 subs now, so any help to tick over that 10k would be absolutely awesome. Hit that bell to stay up to date of all content I release, be it Anthem, be it Marvel's Avengers or anything else, and don't forget to share. Right, so let's dive headlong into this. First up we have the Avengers Herald. This is a legendary heavy pistol. It is an upgraded blast pack. Its masterwork perk is Raptor's Deadeye. Hovering increases damage by 200%. This is really good for any class that can actually utilize this. Of course, if you're a Storm, you're mainly going to be wanting to be using your elements. If you're an Inti, you're probably going to be using shotguns, your claws. So ideally, I guess this is really for the Ranger because obviously Colossus can't equip tiny little weapons like these, but for Ranger, this is not a bad option. Now, the RPM on this is really low. It is a heavy pistol, not a machine pistol. And because of that, you've got a higher, you've got a higher rate of damage, but a lower RPM. It has a decent optimal range and its ammo definitely could have had some work. So what you're looking for here is basically any weapon damage you can get on the item. You're already getting 200% on top of the 2000 damage and anything you can add on to that is an additive bonus. So definitely something that you might want to check out. Like I said, it has a slow rate of fire, so it isn't for everyone, but it does pack a punch, especially on Ranger, especially when you get those single target hits, it does make the difference. Next up we have Insult and Injury. This is a legendary grenade launcher for the Colossus. It is an upgraded Bombardier. These grenades bounce before exploding which make them even more difficult to target your enemies. Not a very good option for Colossus this week. Its masterwork perk is Victor's Bulwark. Defeating an enemy clears harmful status effects and boosts effect resistance by 75% for 10 seconds. I would just stay away from this, there's no reason to waste any of your coin on this. Honestly, there's just none. I mean, I've got a really good roll here at 250% and I don't use this at all with any build. Sentinel's Vengeance really is the only grenade launcher you'll ever use, so just skip this. Only get it if you really want to complete your collection, but outside of that, this is 100% skippable. Right, now we come to Ranger and they have the Arctic Tomb. This is an upgraded frost grenade. The masterwork perk reads frozen enemies explode and freeze other enemies nearby when defeated. This is damn awesome. And what you want for this is gear charges, not gear damage because the damage on this isn't great. What you want on this is gear charges because as you can see, it doesn't really have any damage. So having any percentage of gear damage on this is a waste of time so what you want is gear recharge so you can throw these multiple times as a ranger especially when you can put your bubble up which will reset your cooldowns so you can throw even more it's a very very useful grenade it's not one that many people opt for because you do have the grenade that increases your ultimate charges that said this is still a nice alternative and if you don't have one i'd probably say pick one up just for the sake of it play around with it, see if you actually can get on with it. It's not a bad piece, but definitely not one that you want to be wasting your coin on. Next up, we have the legendary Titan's Hail for Colossus. This is insane. Just look at that raw damage. It has 11,942 raw damage. Of course, that means that this cannot prime or combo or detonate. It can't do anything. It is just a ordnance launcher, Titan's Hail. It's a this base. It is literally a burst mortar, just an upgraded version of that to become legendary. The masterwork perk for this is that it creates a large physical explosion for each enemy hit. What you want with this one is gear charges, and as you can see here, I've got 200 gear charges. It's great because you want to be able to do as much damage as you can, and being able to reuse this multiple times is the best way to do that. Of course, you're probably going to be thinking now, why not increase the weapon damage? Because if it can't prime or detonate, you obviously want to get the maximum benefit from this. 
this ability could have 900% weapon damage and it would still fire like crap. Seriously, unless you're absolutely desperate to get your collection, stay clear away of this, it's hot garbage. Right, next up we have the Stasis Chain. This is the legendary Focus Seal for Storm. It's an upgraded arc burst and it gives lightning bolt arcs to two nearby targets. The master work pack for this is that hitting two enemies detonates electric explosions. Now this is really cool because if you can get enemies clumped up and hit them with this, even though it's not actually a detonator, it can detonate with the electric charges. So it's got really high damage with almost 9,000 base damage, which is really cool. So having additional gear damage here, like what I've got here at 250%, really does matter here, especially with the fact that this can combo. It might not be the go-to on be all for everyone, but definitely something that if you do pick up and do get a great roll on, might be worth a shot, might be worth a look because it's not that bad. Of course, if you're looking to just prime on combo, then this definitely won't fit into that build. This item can combo, but it does require you to hit two enemies at the same time. And the lightning effect that you have around you and the explosions is what will detonate. So with that said, it's not a bad item, but definitely not one you'll probably be using on a regular basis. Next we have Serpent's Veil, another grenade, and this time it's for the Interceptor. This one is an upgraded Venom Bomb, it's Masterwork Perk Re Striker's Venom, melee hits increase all acid damage by 200% for 10 seconds. So this is pretty awesome because you want this acid to do as much damage as possible. Obviously it doesn't have that much damage on this. It, it is only 403 and increasing that by 200%. Well, you're looking at over a thousand. So it's definitely a nice boost, but nothing to write home about. That said, I would much rather have with this instead of the 200% gear damage, multiple charges, because what this does over anything else is that it acts as a primer. And if you can prime, then you can detonate with your, with your melee or another ability and then do even more damage. Of course, Acid has the weird mass behind it where if the enemy is too high level, you'll struggle to get the Acid to stick or stick for too long. So do watch out for that when you're going into the higher level content if you're not there yet. If you see that the Acid isn't sticking, it's because the enemies are just too high. If they're a little bit above you or below you or in the middle, then this will stick. And obviously with Acid, you'll get a lot more damage because it's a debuff on the enemy. So Serpent's Veil definitely has its use, definitely something you might want to look into. Do you want to pick one up? If you don't have one, I'd say yes. If you have one, I wouldn't re-roll on this for the sake of looking for a better roll. And that is pretty much the regular soul for this week. It's pretty dry, pretty bad. I think this probably is the worst week we've had when it comes to the actual regulator store. For the past few weeks, we've had amazingly amazing stores but this week it's been almost a complete dud from the Colossus to the Storm to everything else. The, the, I mean, the, the best ones are at mediocre level at the best. So if you ask me, I'd save your coin and wait for the next week. And hopefully we'll have better items available for you to spend your coin on. Right, freelancers, thank you for watching. Thank you for being here. If you want to support the channel, don't forget to hit that like button. If you enjoyed the video, hit that red button to subscribe and the notification bell to stay up to date with all content I release. Thank you very much for choosing this channel, this video for your viewing pleasure. And until the next video, stay safe and remain legend. Thanks so much for watching my video. If you look over to the left, you'll find a video that I'm recommending to you that I think you might actually enjoy. On the right, you'll see a video that is recommended by YouTube. I really do hope you enjoyed the video and until the next one, remember to always remain legend.